always trying to manage other people's emotion or prevent other mm. people from feeling burdened by how we feel or something like that you know those type of like people pleasing qualities and it's probably something where we learned that obviously in childhood where like you know most of us hear from our parents like stop crying you're in public don't do that that's embarrassing don't embarrass me now you sit there and be quiet mm -hmm. and don't embarrass mama you know things like that are so ingrained in in what we were told as children and i think that's damaging for all children but especially the more sensitive ones that that are just yeah. like i don't know why i'm crying i'm just upset i'm just very sensitive my heart's on my mm -hmm. sleeve you know and we're taught that that's not okay there's a there's a not needing to deny the like relative appropriateness of situational things of course right but also how do we honor our own movement our own authentic expression mm -hmm. even if it's coming out as sadness showing up with other people um, and also respecting the space and the quality of that what if i'm allowed to feel sadness whenever it arises even just for a moment and how how can i relearn the trust of this expression right here the wisdom of it moving through you know like you don't have to manage is it appropriate or not and what is embarrassment what does embarrassment embarrassment mean about me what happens when you ask that so i feel like embarrassment means i'm not good enough and really just letting your attention go into that space What if I just let myself feel fully this moment without needing to fade it or fix it in any way? Without believing my thoughts about it. Let's say that out, out loud a few times. Like, I, I can allow myself to relax into this tenderness. It's okay that I feel this. And how do I learn to honor more my tenderness, more my heart, 